That was Paul Balash with praise. Here on your radio station, AM 930, The Light, Edmonton's Positive Talk. Well, let's have the second of the Beatitudes today. And it is found, of course, in Matthew chapter 5. And Jesus says, Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Now, obviously, there is the first implication is, of course, if you have lost someone, if you are in that time of grieving, then, of course, you are going to be comforted. Jesus may have been thinking about that wonderful scripture in Isaiah that says, He will give us beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. So if you're going through a time of grieving, then I want you to know you are going to be comforted. That's the promise that Jesus has. In That's the first implication. The second implication is the fact that you are sorry for what you have done against God. That you are, you know, you recognize that, first of all, that you're a sinner. And secondly, that you need to get right with God. You see, the, the incredible thing is, until we actually see the condition of our heart and see things that God, the way that God sees us, then things are not going to change. We're going to continue walking along lives, doing what we want to do. But then when we recognize that we are are the actual condition and the way that God sees us. And then we want to do something about it. And that's the beauty of salvation. And that's the beauty of the message of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ came so that we would not have to go into, you know, a a separation from God, that we could actually have eternal and abundant life. That's what Jesus did. He allowed his body to be broken. He allowed his blood to be shed so that you and I could have this wonderful salvation. That's what Easter is really all about. It's about his death, his burial, and his resurrection. There's a song that I, I often think about, and it's simply like this. He paid a debt he did not owe. I owed a debt I could not pay. I needed someone to take my sins away. And so Jesus basically says, not only when you are mourning in a physical sense for the loss of someone, but also as well when you recognize that you need God. There's sorrow for what you've done against him. And that's when Jesus says, you will be comforted. Because what's going to happen is you are going to recognize it. God's love is going to pour into you. God's grace, God's mercy. But more importantly, you will receive the wonderful help, benefits, and love of God. You'll get his strength, his anointing. I mean, it's so beautiful. What a great package that God gives us. And so all we have to do is recognize that we need his help. We need his strength. That's what we need today. So there's a couple of applications that I want you to think about today. A little thought for you today. And let this be your attitude. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. God's going to give you that beauty for ashes, that oil of joy for mourning, that garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. What a great promise from Isaiah and also from the Word of God today. AM 930, the light is Edmonton's positive talk. Church is having a bake sale. 